If people break the law and get found out, they must expect to suffer humiliation and inconvenience. These are the facts which concern this court. A young man travels abroad several times a year in a privileged position on a special currency concession from the Bank of England. He takes advantage of this trust and conspires with considerable cunning and careful planning to defraud the inland revenue. More than that, he admits that he intended paying the purchase price of this watch by check in England, which as he knows very well is against the currency regulations. So, on two counts, he willfully breaks the law. And you ask us to deal with this case with the utmost leniency. No, there's far too much of this thing going on these days. People who go abroad and think, so long as they can get away with it, that they can break the law and evade the customs duties at the expense of the honest citizen. Fair enough sport, they say. Well, I'm afraid this bench doesn't look on the smuggler as a romantic character. Your story is that you intended this to be a birthday present for your wife. That is usually the story. And yet a minute later, you told the customs officer that you had a large overdraft. Now, I'm not altogether satisfied with your story. The ingenious manner in which you try to conceal the watch leads one to certain conclusions. I'm not altogether convinced that you weren't smuggling professionally for profit and that it was not perhaps for the first time. However, we are only concerned in this instance with the evidence in this case. I don't know whether you are aware of it, but the penalty for smuggling can be 18 months imprisonment in addition to a heavy fine. I'm not going to fine you, but you'll go to prison for three months. <laughs>